Yeah. Oh yeah. I like this color. Let's see. Maybe I'll get a couple bushes of these. Oh, they have some eucalyptus. Do I want to even try? Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> another weekly vlog I just finished up a group run um, it is still the same day as the ending of last week's vlog I decided to hang out in the neighborhood that we ran in a little longer I grabbed a coffee oh my god um, I grabbed a coffee and I'm just gonna walk around someone told me that there was a flower shop up here somewhere I wanted to get some flowers at the um, at the um, market that we were at but um, they were sold out by the time we got done walking. Well, they were sold out all of the good stuff. So, I'm going to walk around and try to find this little local flower shop they were telling me about. Maybe grab some flowers. Yeah. Oh! I was saying that I'm going to grab some flowers. I don't know what else. And then I'll head home in a minute. So, yeah. Welcome to this week's vlog. I made it home i'm still actually vlogging on my phone because i was too lazy <laughs> to like pull out my camera anyway um just wanted to show you really quickly what i got from walgreens i just have it in my little bag you know they charge seven cents a bag in the city in chicago and she's not doing that um <laughs> i refuse so i got some more cotton rounds i like to just use these uh walgreens brand cotton rounds to apply like my toner and stuff like that. So I'm running out, I grabbed some of those. And then I'm trying a new eye cream. I'm out of the rock eye cream um, that I've been using. And I read that this CeraVe eye repair cream is like A1, like the, the, the ratings on this thing is crazy. So I had to try it, I've never seen it before. It's about this big. I feel like most eye creams are like super small like this, but the rock one lasted for like six months. So that's an over exaggeration. It lasted for like four months four months so this is plenty so i'm excited to try this because the people the people say it's perfect and then i got a re-up on my pixie tonic um y'all know this is a staple for me now i just this is one of my favorites of all of the new skincare stuff that i've bought over the last three four months um and so i had to get some more and this was on sale it's normally 18 dollars for just the small bottle but it was on sale for 10 at walgreens so i grabbed some of that what else um i just tried to clean off my running shoes i love these i'm gonna actually do a review on these so this will, a review for these will be coming um in the next couple weeks the only thing is I went for style over like practicality when it comes to the colorway this time and I'm already regretting it because this net tends to get this net materials tends to get super dingy um on shoes like over time and then this white sole and running out not white it's not white but like this off white or really light sole um after running outside just a few times looks so dingy to me even after i cleaned it so i already know that i'm about to buy a second pair um, of hokas more than likely in a darker color and maybe a different style kayla is the girl that <laughs> is heading up the brand challenge that i'm doing this summer um she had it on a different style of hokas that she's testing out and so far she likes them so i may go and look those up and grab them in a, a darker colorway definitely with a black sole so yeah i don't it is about to be like 80 degrees outside and i really do not want to be in the house so i am about to like hit my friends up see what they got going on see if they want to get outdoors and do something in the meantime i need to go take a shower because girl So happy Tuesday. 
I thought I'd share with you my new um, like moisture combination, everyday moisture combination. So I went ahead and picked up this um, almond oil. It's 100% pure almond oil from now. I got it off of Amazon. It literally had damn near perfect reviews. It was thousands of reviews. It doesn't have a smell or anything, so it's a good oil to mix with other moisturizers. As I said, I'm using it as an everyday um, oil, so I'm mixing it just with my Eucerin because that's the moisturizer that I use on a daily basis I got it because I purchased the Kiehl's uh, dry almond oil which I absolutely love this is definitely going to be like a repurchase but it's $35 girl it is $35 and look how much I've used I've only had it for like a couple weeks now so this isn't something that I want to be using every single day I'll probably mostly use this when I'm going out especially in the warmer months because um, it's a dry oil so um, it gives you the shine and stuff that you see here but um, it's not as thick, so I won't be as sweaty and hot. So Everyday Almond Oil, $11. And then the Kiehl's Nourishing Dry Body Oil I'll use um, on days out. Um, and this is $35 a bottle, girl. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. I have a bunch, a bunch of work to do, so I don't even have time to be doing this right now. I do have some packages coming in sometime this week, so we'll open those together when they get here. But other than that, I don't have much planned, so yeah i'll talk to y'all later hey guys so it is wednesday um i am done with work and i got my order from poppy listen in the shades that i ordered um i actually got them out of the mail like an hour ago but i was like getting ready to sit up and start like filming and a cute boy called my phone and <laughs> y'all had to wait because i I didn't want to miss that call okay um anyway <laughs> this is the packaging that the shades come in again the brand is called Poppy Lissaman it is an Australian designer and I saw these on um her name is she goes by buy me Chanel on um, Instagram she's a skincare influencer and I'm there for the skincare but I stay for the fashion because she be having some some cute stuff going on so anyway um, she had these on on vacation. Oh, it opens like this. She had these on on a vacation and they were just so dope that I had to immediately grab them. So they came in this cute little like croc embossed style case. And then I guess this is just like a, a return slip. And then it has like the little thing that you clean the glasses with. And then um, just like a, a card telling you about like the sunglasses I guess so this is cute packaging I really like this this is super cute pop of color and it actually matches my apartment really well so I'm gonna find somewhere to sit it out as decor because I do that when I have cute packaging and boxes and it matches the decor of my apartment anyway let's get into the shades um so let's pull them out I ain't gonna lie I kind of looked at them already so I've taken some of the packaging off so it comes in this little plastic and originally it had like plastic over uh, the shades and over the um, earpieces <laughs> but I took them off. Anyway, these are the shades. They're just like a cow print, um, not a super wide frame, which is fine. I'm sort of into a smaller frame these days. And then on the side, it has like this gold embossed um, poppy lissamin on both earpieces, which is a little more gaudy that I would normally go for. I wouldn't normally go for something with that big of a branding on the shades but girl these were cute so let's let's put them out <laughs> girl i look fly i look i am ready for a vacation like my next vacation is a family vacation but i'm gonna be giving the girls what i'm supposed to be given on a family vacation with my 13 year old nephew and my seven year old niece in one and the other hands okay listen thumbnail thumbnail <laughs> girl i'm feeling these let me know if y'all like them in the comments cute i'll add the link too just in case you are you're interested in them it's friday it's friday i look i've been so busy with work this week i'm so glad it's friday <sighs> Whoa, I've been working so much. Anyway, I just picked up my Lispec shades out of the mail. I already opened them. I couldn't wait to do like an unboxing or whatever. Oh, that's just a little thing to clean the shades with. Comes with this little case here. These are the shades. So just like a super classic shape and style and color. I love these. These have been on my wish list for a long time. I really like this brand. It's super affordable in my opinion. I think these were about $70. And their shades range from anywhere between 
65 and you know up depending on what you're getting um, but I just love this super classic shape I was looking for a good everyday shade I have a pair that I got from like a stand somewhere and so I just wanted to replace them with a little bit of a better quality but like not too expensive because I told y'all I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses what I'm going to do though is a haul of the sunglasses that I purchased recently because I've been kind of on like a sunglass kick I've purchased like four in the last four or five in the last couple months or so so I'm gonna do a haul and share some of the places that I like to buy what I consider affordable sunglasses so anywhere between like 25 to like 150 60 anything over that is a little expensive and to me I'm making a splurge purchase at that point for something like sunglasses but anyway I'm gonna do a whole video on that so enough about that what else did I want to talk about really quickly while I have y'all book Okay, so y'all know this month I'm reading um, Tina Turner's um, I, Tina. So it's the book that the movie What's Love Got to Do With It was made from. And I wanted to read it because I watched the documentary. I did, I think I explained all this, but I watched the documentary on HBO Max and it made me want to read the movie because I noticed that the movie took some liberties about her life that weren't necessarily true. Like it wasn't lining up. So I wanted to read the book the book I'm a few chapters in and it's a little slow here's the thing I love when books are like really descriptive about places and things so like the town the, the grass was green and it flows to the left and right and billows at the the dawn of the sun like I like that in fictional books right I don't need all of that like I don't need all that explanation about Nutbush Tennessee just tell me she lived in Nutbush and then let's get to her life story and stuff like that so I'm kind of annoyed by all of the like small nuances that they're doing in the book and then not all of it is in Tina's voice um so whenever Tina is actually talking it has Tina and then it has you know whatever it is that she has to say so all of the little small nuances and stuff are kind of annoying but so far so good with that book also I've started reading a second book at the same time well not necessarily reading I decided to download audible again and I think I'm gonna keep it this time I think I'm just gonna keep because I keep doing like free trials and then getting rid of it but I think I'm gonna keep it um just for books that I would probably prefer to listen to uh versus like actually read like the secret and stuff like that right I would prefer to listen to that stuff if I'm being quite honest so I have a friend and um he suggested a couple books to me to read we were having a conversation and he suggested a couple books and so I was like you know what let me just download them on my audible they're books that's totally different subject matter from the uh, memoirs and stuff that I'm reading of black women and so I thought I could read both of them at the same time so that's why I decided to just get them um in audible so the book that I'm listening to right now which I'm almost done with it was just a little over two hours in audiobook form and I started yesterday morning and I listened to it like before the gym and after the gym while I was getting ready for work um same thing today and I'm already more than halfway done like I have like 30 minutes left and I'll be done with the book but it's an excellent book so right now I'm listening to A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson that Marianne Williamson yes the one that ran for the Democratic nomination and she was a little bit weird so when he like suggested it I was like are you talking about the lady that ran for Democratic the Democratic nomination I was like she kind of weird I don't know but I started listening to the book and it is an excellent excellent book. when I tell you I have taken copious amounts of notes and I'm also going to do a book report just for myself because I have so many thoughts circulating in my head after listening to this book so she's a little kooky but her book is good and then once I'm done with that book I am going to read this book here it's called single on purpose the author name is john kim so i'm excited to listen to this one too this one is like five hours so it's probably going to take me more than two days to listen to that maybe take me like a week or so um to do it but i'm excited about listening to it listen he gave me some really good book suggestions um what else did he give me Ooh. he also suggested that i read the four agreements which i read a long long time ago but I could probably use a refresher on the four agreements and then the monk who sold his Ferrari so that's another book uh that he suggested but I'm gonna start with the two that I showed y'all first and then we'll see where we where we go from there but yes uh return to love so far so good highly 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 recommend highly recommend okay so my little break from work is over I'm going to put up my new cute little shades and I'm going to get back to work because I have a few more things that I need to do before I wrap.
today yet. So it's right at about 7.50 a.m. I am just about to go on a run. I'm gonna do a couple miles before I go to the gym um, to get a full body workout in. It's Saturday, I typically do a full body something um, on Saturdays, but y'all know I'm doing my run challenge, so I gotta get my miles in as well. Um, I wanted to come in and close, or come on and close the vlog because I don't have much going on this weekend. Y'all know I like to just vlog so for the sake of vlogging. Um, I thought I was gonna have more to share, like more unboxings um, to share, but such is life when it comes to delivery services. So my mango package was delayed. Um, and then I ordered something from a name bank, which I am so excited about because it's been on my wish list forever. That comes in Monday. So next week vlog will have a mini mango and a name bank unboxing, which I'm ex extremely excited about. Also, the brand collab that I'm doing, the stuff should come in for that on next week. So I get to film it, but maybe I'll do like a little unboxing on that too. And then my friend Tiffany is coming back in town and that's sort of like my like hit the streets partner. So maybe I'll have a cute little brunch or lunch or something um, to share with y'all next week. So hopefully next week will be a little more exciting. But today to end out the vlog, I'm actually going to take you all on my run with me. I'm just gonna do like a little sight and sound check because I'm switching up where I'm running. I'm not running on the lake today because the bugs are out and I don't like bugs. Like I just, I cannot. Um, so I'm gonna run through my neighborhood, um, run up to my job. It's very beautiful. So I thought I'd show you some of that. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribers are coming in. they're coming in slow but they're coming in so thank you all who are subscribing to my channel and commenting and watching all my videos i uh, make sure that you're also following me on instagram my handle over there is b angela underscore be and i will talk to y'all in the next one bye <laughs>